Hello everyone. In the previous video, you have learned how to use the Microsoft Outlook 2013 as your personal calendar, in which you can manage your tasks, appointments, and etc. Now I'll be teaching you on how to use the Outlook to-do list. This is Joseph. You are watching Outlook TV. Good day everyone. Today I'm going to show you in how to use the task the task feature on the Microsoft Outlook 2013. First, you need to open the application. And wait until it loads. And to go to the task task feature of this application, you have to click on the show hit button with a chat mark and click it. And you will be seeing all your task features or in default nothing and now and here is the different type of views you want detail and to add a new task you just have to go to new task which is in the home ribbon new task for example a task mm. Sex or quarter marker starting um not quarter mark marker but extras starting is tomorrow and maybe twenty not started you can change the status if you're not started normal and complete if you have to click complete or in progress how many percent so it's in priority like normal for example and this will summarize your subject exercise to gain and if you're done you have to save it and close and here it is. Let's try adding a lot of new tasks to see how does this work. Let's say I'll say that was on 9 and Another one, next, another one in progress. Starting, for example, last Sunday, since we changed the session, I re selected in progress as our status we should we can have we can modify how many percent we have to for example this 25 And let's add another task again in which the status is waiting on someone else. For example, your research paper.
Dan ada kan ini sudah status ini. Okay. And I think this is this is now. So if you want to sort all your tasks that are completed, you just have to click here and choose completed and you will and the task will be sorted upon if it's completed or not. So there is only one task that has been completed and that was the R of code task. Since it was completed, you can delete it now, or you can store it. So, now, you can delete, delete it, just click delete or CTRLD or close it. I, I want to store it because I want to, to remember this momentous event, so I'm going to close it. And another feature here is overview, nothing. Overview, which means the task has been the task has not yet been completed before the deadline so if you want to go back to the task you can change it if for example research paper you can edit it waiting the status you can change the task, status from waiting on someone else to complete it okay and for example, exercise, not started or in progress, you can change it. You know, this is very, very important, especially on, the, on college students on, on balancing their time. So I think Outlook 2013 will be their best friend in doing such tasks that are need to be balanced wisely in order to create and maintain a very life, a very friendly and and lively life and i guess that's it that's how using the task feature on outlook 2013 and thank you for watching this short video bye bye happy christmas